guys, it's the Gaming Bermuda, and welcome back to my channel. So we are back here with the Sims 4 Disney Zombie series. So here we have Addison, and today we might just possibly go on our first day of school. I don't know what kind of face she has on right now, but anyways, we are here with Addison because I guess I, I figured we might as well follow her on the first day of school, but it is actually Sunday in the afternoon, which means, you know what that means? She's gotta go ahead and do her homework, that's for sure. So we'll have her start that. And I also thought maybe she should go and visit Bucky, her cousin, so that she could possibly try out for the cheer team. So we'll have to see, we'll have to see at least, oh, okay, uh, um, uh, parents, we don't wanna see that. <laughs> Um, anyways, I think, uh, we'll at least go ahead and try to get to know her cousin and so that she knows some of the people from Seabrook High. And maybe, just maybe, we'll see some zombies walking around. So that would be interesting to see because, as you guys may have seen, if you haven't, definitely make sure to do so. But I did a genetics challenge so that we could have more zombies and more Seabrook High students in this series before we actually go to school. So if you haven't checked that out, basically what I did is I used Addison and Zed's genetics in order to create children so that we could make more zombies around town. So I thought that was really cool. But anyways, she is just being really, really distracted by all kinds of random people. She's becoming good friends with her parents, so that's great. Getting a lot of help with her homework, so that is fantastic. I don't know who this person is. Eddie's just like chatting it up and, and my parents are just like making out. Ugh, I don't want to see that. Ugh, parents, please get a room. Seriously. Ugh. Anyway, so let's go ahead and we're going to visit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're over here. What? <laughs> oh, well, apparently we're already at their house. Go home. No, we're not. I'm so confused. Where is she going? Watch a funny video. <gasps> where is she going? Is this is this Bucky's house? Hold on. <gasps> oh, this is where all the oh, this is where all the cheerleaders are. <gasps> Jewel is one of the girls that I made in my last video. If you haven't checked it out in the cast genetics challenge, so like I said, we have a lot more students, a lot more Super Kai students. I see a lot of cheerleaders inside. So why don't we go ahead and knock on the door and try to um, get to know Bucky? And maybe we should also get to know some of these cheerleaders. I just added a bunch of random people in the game as well. So let's go ahead and knock on the door. Now let's see. Okay, so this is where Bucky lives with um, the other cheerleaders, Lacey, Tracy, and Stacy, and all that jazz. So, first things first, let's do a friendly introduction to Bucky because actually, for some reason, Bucky uh, met Zed before he even met his own cousin. That's really sad, to be honest. So, we're gonna try and become really good friends with our cousin, so that would be amazing. Let's talk about the latest party. I'm sure he would love that. Maybe after school, on our first day of school, maybe we could have our own party. Oh my gosh, my parents are in here seriously go away parents <laughs> so embarrassing anyways i'm gonna go ahead and have her introduce herself to all of these um other cheerleaders so we know them and then i will be right back with you guys so i decided to move over here with zed and his friend oh what making friends i really want to be friends with someone but they don't seem to really want to be friends with me <gasps> oh so his dad is like just keep being friendly <gasps> Oh my gosh, the poor thing. He feels really left out because obviously everybody has been just like kind of making fun of him since he's a zombie and everything and they don't really want to be friends. That's so sad, poor Zed. He's like, I just want to be friends. I just want to, you know what? Why don't you go ahead, make some funny faces with your sister, huh? How about you trick, no, don't trick her. Don't trick her. Why don't you guys play a sea monster? Oh my gosh, you can't? Why not? I'm gonna go ahead and have them spend some time with each other. Maybe that'll help him feel a little bit better. But in the meantime, maybe we should do a, a gathering. Yeah, why not? And you guys can see Eliza's new hair. I finally found a hair that looks pretty much the exact same as Eliza's hair. So that is fantastic. Hmm, club gatherings can only be held at venues. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead and spend some time? He wants to get to know his dad. Mock uncool adult. <laughs> that's so mean. Okay, finally, he can play as the sea monster. Oh my goodness. So I think little Zoe over here is playing pirates, right? Here in the middle of the night, my goodness. And he's just going crazy. He's like talking the night away. And she's like, I just want to play. Oh my gosh. Look at him going crazy. Oh, they're so cute. Look how cute they are. She's like, yeah, I'm the pirate. And he's like, rah, I'm a sea monster. He's like, wait, I'm gonna wait to scare her. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. Uh-oh, she's gonna chase a flock. What are you doing, girl? <gasps> Being so rude. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> 
Are you serious? No! Oh my goodness, this girl is crazy. Okay, you know what? Why don't you spend some time with your brother? Where is he going? Where are you going? What in the world is going on here? All right, well, why don't you go ahead and play together? Oh my gosh. <laughs> she literally just cheated. She's like, hey, look over there. And then she switched things around. Oh my goodness. But at least they're spending some time with each other. So that's great. Oh, you know what they also need to do? They should also go ahead and do their homework. Let me see. Yeah, you need to do your homework, little one. Seriously. Chasing bird flocks and cheating and chess and stuff. Oh, and now they're good friends. So that's cute. Oh, poor little Zoe. She's been thinking about pets and stuff. I've been hearing some stray cats around, but I haven't seen any stray dogs. And the poor thing, she's like, I just want a puppy. But you gotta do well in school if you want to get a puppy. That's what her dad told her. So, unfortunately. Oh, wait. Oh wait, there that is not a puppy, but that is a very large dog and his name is Blue. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? Oh my gosh, it's going right up to seven two. Oh my goodness, we should try to do a friendly introduction. I think that would be pretty cool. What is she? Oh my goodness, she's gonna scare the flock of birds. Oh boy, oh boy, what is he doing? Oh no, he got sprayed by a skunk. Oh my gosh, skunky scent. He's like, <laughs> he's like ready to cry. <laughs> oh my goodness, where is Zed? Where is he? Oh, he's in the facilities. Okay, we'll go ahead and give him some privacy. And this girl over here is still doing her homework seriously. Are you done? Um, uh-oh, she's got to use the facilities too. But girl, you got to finish your homework. All right, so she finished her homework. She's about to go ahead and scare this flock of birds. I don't know what it is with her, but she just likes scaring flocks of birds. And you need to use the facilities once you're done with that. Oh, no. <laughs> They, they got scared before she could even walk around them. She's like, I just got to use the bathroom. Okay, girl, go ahead and do that. In the meantime, I'm going to try and... Okay, there's another stray cat. I'm, I'm on the lookout for a stray dog. Even more importantly, a stray puppy. And that is what we need to go ahead and search for. But I haven't found any just yet. So unfortunately, Zoe can't get a dog until we find one. Or at least one that she can, you know, adopt. So far, I haven't found anything though. But apparently, uh, some decided to go to sleep so you know what I think we should all just go home and then I'm going to go back to Addison's house and we're gonna follow her to the first day of school alrighty we are back home I don't even know where the entrance is I guess it's over here let's see he's already ready to watch TV seriously you know what you should do you should probably make something for your little daughter to eat if I can figure out where the kitchen is okay here it is my goodness why don't we go ahead and just make something really quickly um can you just like serve something that would be great um grilled cheese sure make a family size of that will ya don't watch tv honestly seriously where is zed he already went to sleep well kind of why don't you oh he can put zoe to bed how cute is that okay you are just gonna go to sleep right on your own poor little zoe is gonna go off to sleep but she's hungry so i want to make sure that she eats something first and foremost girl you gotta go ahead and eat something so why don't you go ahead and wait your little booty over here wait for your dad to make you some grilled cheese in the meantime why don't we just um actually you know what sit right there just just sit your little booty right there and then we'll have uh zevin go ahead and put her to sleep all righty girl here's your little grilled cheese can you like give one to her that would be cool but okay just call everyone to the meal so that she can grab one for herself the poor little thing she's like i'm hungry i'm hungry Alrighty, girl there you go have yourself a little girl cheese i'll go ahead and put this away zed is asleep so i'm not gonna bother him and now they can just spend some quality time <gasps> look at this she wants to be friendly with zed how cute is that um he wants to watch tv <laughs> what a surprise and he wants to do some cooking i did but it didn't count it all right well <laughs> alrighty then um i don't know if um zevin decided to turn on the music but it's like this weird music. I don't know what's going on. Look at this old record player too. What? <laughs> Anyways, are you quite finished? She's still eating her little grilled cheese. What are you doing? He's putting things in the dishwasher. No, don't go to sleep. You're gonna put Zoe to bed. Aww. Express love. How cute is that? You can go ahead and do that. And then I wonder where she could go ahead and sleep. She had a little single bed, like a little twin size bed. Why don't we go ahead and there we go. Put Zoe to bed right there once you are done. Aww, the poor thing. She ate good. Alrighty. It is going to be six 30. It is 6.30 a.m. I want to make sure that she goes to sleep. 
oh my gosh, I just realized, oh, the poor thing, she's so tired. I just realized that he still has the creepy walk. <laughs> but I just wanted to see what this looks like. Let's just put her to bed. Oh okay, Can good I night, little one. Oh, the poor thing. Alrighty, so he's gonna tuck her in, have a good night, little Zoe, and then he can go to sleep as well. School starts for Zed in about an hour, so, oh, whoa, that was really fast. So we'll go ahead and move over to Addison's house now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's still here in Bucky's house. My goodness, okay, thanks, Bucky. I think we should say goodbye. Can we just say goodbye? I don't, oh. We have school so soon. I don't think we'll even be able to have enough time time okay you know what we'll just stay here because why not she wants to get to know her dad so okay we can do that let's get to know bucky a little bit more i mean i guess we might as well just continue stand here i made sure she did her homework right okay good so we should be pretty good to go we learned that bucky is self-assured so that is a thing that is happening all right let's go ahead and just introduce ourselves to some of the other um cheerleaders and stuff how are you guys doing let's check on the parents why are they still here <laughs> can you guys wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute did i give them jobs i didn't give them jobs okay so he wants to start a new career yes we should definitely do that i don't actually know what addison's dad wants to do but i do know that addison's mom is like a politician or something i believe so i know we can do that for her oh my gosh did this it's time for school girl you gotta go to school oh my goodness seriously it didn't give me the option to follow her to school so i'm a little concerned about that but let's see here i'm gonna have her be a politician so that's a thing and then as for him i don't know i guess business why not? We'll do that. But anyways, it is time, girl, for you to go to school. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So we'll have her do an assignment. What does she need to do here? Choose a cause to support. I'm not sure if it's going to give me the option to follow her to school or not. So hopefully it does. If not, well, that's a little concerning. Okay, so pick a cause. We're going to pick a cause for no sim left behind. So that includes zombies. So... Hopefully we can bring everybody together, but I'm not seeing the option to follow her to school. No, okay. So I'm gonna go back and see if I can try to figure out what's going on with the mod. Maybe it needs some updating and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, good, okay, okay. So we figured it out, I figured it out. Let's go ahead and join Addison to the first day of school. Oh, I'm so excited and I'm sure she's so excited too because she wants to be a part of the cheerleading team. Hopefully we'll see Bree there. If not, then we'll just meet her after school, that's fine. Hopefully we'll meet Bucky there so that she could try out for the cheerleading squad or maybe we'll do that after school <gasps> Ooh, Okay, so we haven't seen I was gonna say we haven't seen Zed in school. Yes, we do Zed is here. Yes I, I saw Eliza and I was like, yes, look at Eliza. I don't know what's going on with her eyes She's like a little tired. She's like, oh school with humans. Oh, seriously <laughs> I love this hair on her and I'm so grateful that they had a green option So I'm like, yes, thank goodness because this is like the perfect hair for Eliza I'm so happy that I found that so here is little Addison huh. Let's see this is a little strange because I'm pretty 100% sure that I put, I, wait, what? I, I, I definitely remember having, oh, oh, okay. Okay, I was like, I definitely remember putting like a gate here. Now, somebody told me that you could um, put these club doors here, but I don't know how they work. So I don't know how to make them. So like you can only, only a certain group or a certain club can go in them. I'm pretty sure that I have to be a club member in order to like activate that. But anyways, hopefully we'll meet some teachers. Let's see. So now we'll know who is like, okay, so this is like our counselor here. Eric Lewis. Who is this? We have a student here. <gasps> Bucky is here too. Cool. Awesome. All right. We got some more um, students over here as well. I don't see any employees. The janitor is a mermaid apparently, <laughs> but um, we could also um, give him a little bit of a makeover. I think we will go ahead and do that. And then who is this before I do that? This is the principal. So that is very interesting. Here's the principal. I mean, I like her hair, <laughs> so I don't really want to change her really. I like, I really like the way she looks. The janitor looks pretty cool, but I think we should zombify him. That would be pretty awesome indeed. And I believe there should also be like a chef in here somewhere. Maybe they're already like cooking stuff. So yes, let's go ahead and zombify 
zombify the janitor, who is AKA the teacher. Okay, so he's like in a, in a household with like different people, but this is the janitor here. His skin actually looks kind of cool looking, but we're gonna change it. I think he has actually a, um, a skin preset and I can't change it actually. So we're, we'll go back, let's cancel that, shall we? Oh my gosh, did I mess this up? Oh my goodness. I hope that we can go back to school as Addison. That'd be great. I hope that I'm not taking control of the janitor because that would be a problem. <laughs> okay, good. Oh my goodness, that was a little crazy. We're gonna go ahead and do this. I don't know if I have to do that, but I do know that I need to do this in order to give him a makeover. Where is he? There he is. Let's go ahead and modify and create some. Hopefully we can actually zombify him now. Okay, here is the um, janitor. I just noticed this guy, his father? His father is a zombie. Interesting, interesting. Okay, now we can actually do this. So he has this here. Oh, okay, okay. There's some like zombified skin tones already. So we'll go with that one then. And then we'll just change his hair to green. I don't know how I feel about these. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that so we can actually see his face. I'm not sure how I feel about this outfit. <laughs> it looks a little crazy. So maybe we should go ahead and change that as well. Maybe change it to something a little bit more rustic looking. And then I'm not sure how I feel about this mermaid tail. So maybe we should go ahead and change that as well. What in the world is he doing? Flip flops and socks. What? <laughs> why don't you go ahead and wear some like boots or something? Maybe not those though. Um, yeah, why don't you wear that without these horrendous looking socks? And I think that will be good to go. So here is the janitor. I hope I'm not taking control of him. I think I am. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. Take control of Addison once again, and then we'll get started with the first day of school. Oh, okay, good, perfect, perfect. Now look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness, she is right next to Zev. He's like so uninterested. Why don't we do a friendly introduction? And we're gonna do a friendly introduction to Eliza as well. And then Bucky, I don't think he's going to be too happy about this. Look at him taking selfies. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna be the star of the show this year, as usual. Oh my goodness, everybody's taking selfies. And he just introduced ourselves. Oh my goodness, we need to go to creative arts class. We need to ask questions about guitar and use the woodworking table. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? So these zombies need to go to the basement, but I can't control control them right now. So we're going to go ahead and go to um, our first day of school. It looks like the teacher is very excited teaching nobody. Nobody's in class. <laughs> Literally nobody's in class. This person is like escaping school. My goodness. Okay, why don't we go ahead and attend our personal arts class or creative arts class. What am I doing? I thought it was like personal development class because it's usually that's usually the first day of school is like personal development class where you like introduce yourself and as soon as you're by yourself everybody's like i don't feel like going to school that's boring look at bucky look at the way he's looking at zed and eliza he's like ugh, zombies ugh, why are they here and they're just like just by themselves talking to each other like yeah so where's are zombies and uh, nobody likes us apparently great well at least we're still friends eliza hmm i wonder if we could call over the group like, hey guys, come on, let's go to creative arts class together. There we go. Is everybody gonna come on over? Everybody's gonna come on over. Yes. Look at everybody in unison. Okay, guys, but sit down. Actually attend to class. My guys, they're so silly. Okay, we are done with class. We're asking some questions about guitar and we need to use the woodworking table. So you know what? I think what we should do is talk to Zed and let's ask about his day so that we can go ahead and talk to him. I'm gonna stop creative arts class and, oh, the chef is a fairy. Oh my gosh, look how cool he looks. Oh my goodness, there's a caterer flying around like an awesome fairy. And I wanted to show you guys, I did make the um, zombie room and it is right over here. As you can see, I have like all these warning signs and I forgot to show you guys this in the last episode, but I made this a uh, zombie room so they can go ahead and chill out over here. It's like pretty much hidden. Like you can't really access it unless you like go all the way over here in the corner upstairs. So that's where I decided to put it. So I'm thinking maybe we should go ahead and chat over here so that they can like talk to each other secluded. Oh my gosh, where is she? Okay, I think we're going upstairs let's see hmm all right all right I think Zed is already in there look at that oh my gosh so they're getting to know each other how cute is that we can go ahead and 
suggest fun activities and maybe flirt covertly not 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 just yet not just yet i think we'll go ahead and just get to know him first maybe we can spoil the latest episode on zombies <laughs> and um we should also ask about his day just get to know him a little bit more you know we want to get to know him because you know we don't know much about zombies and he's been trying look at him he's like miserable because he's like can you believe all of these students here they're all bullying me and my friends just because we're zombies but we're allowed to be here now and look at her she's like yeah you know you're not as you're not as um creepy and crazy as my parents thought you were oh my gosh so i just asked him like what kind of club he's in and we could actually join the zombies club how cool would that be if addison was part of the zombies club then she could go to zombie land how awesome would that be very indeed i think we're gonna have addison join the zombies club let me know what you guys think about that um but i think we'll do it yes we have been accepted to zombies oh yeah okay right now they're like extremely extremely bored so they're just like being negative no matter what i'm gonna stop them from talking okay things aren't going too well they're not working out too well but it is the first day of school the principal's still out here being really she's like calling <laughs> she's calling like her management like we really need to have zombies here like is that absolutely necessary do you think maybe we should like rethink this little thing that we've got going on are we really forced to do this i think maybe we should reconsider but yeah she's having some problems with that i think um i think we should uh stop with this because things are going crazy eliza's over here by herself you know what why don't we why don't we talk to eliza maybe she can help us out a little bit poor addison she's she's kind of stressed out right now she wants to make a friend too maybe she could make a friend with eliza how cute would that be the thing is is that they're so bored while they're at school it makes it so difficult to have any sort of normal conversation without them being negative so i think now finally we are done with school we're gonna have them go ahead and do their homework but i think what we'll do instead before i do my homework i'm gonna go ahead and have addison visit brie so we can get to know brie and then maybe she can make friends with her first i think that would make the most sense anyway so we are back home from school and i think we're gonna travel across the street oh my gosh nobody's home huh well i guess we'll just go by ourselves and hopefully she'll just magically show up <laughs> i hope because poor little addison wants to make a friend and it would make the most sense to be friends with brie first so maybe we can do our homework together spend some time with each other and then maybe we can go ahead and take control of bucky so that we could do a cheerleading um competition so here we go everybody is home i have a whole bunch of different random people here but who we want to talk to is Bree. Look at all these handsome, handsome guys we got over here. We have all these beautiful girls here as well. So I'm surprised I didn't see any of them at school today. But hey, at least we're here anyways. Why is the first option insult yard? <laughs> that is so mean. Okay, let's ask about her day. Get to know her, tell a funny story and stuff. So hopefully we can become friends with her. That would be great. We're going to actually add her to a group. That way, we can do our homework together. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, what in the world? Where did her dad come from? He just like came out of nowhere. He's like, hey, I'm here. Um, dad, what are you doing? Is he helping me with my homework? Thanks, dad. But I don't know why he just like suddenly showed up out of nowhere. Did you get a job? Okay, good. He needs to fill out reports. Can you do that? Oh, the Humor and Hijinks Festival is in town. How cool is that? Why don't we go ahead and do that? But I'm going to take control of Addison. And then let's see if we could go there. Yes. And then we can all like hang out and have some fun. So it starts right now. 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. And we can just do crazy things. Why not? Okay. We're going to go with Bree. We're going to go with Bucky. I wonder how many. Seven people. Okay. So maybe we'll go with Zed. Maybe Eliza. We haven't met Bo I guess she does know Bonzo because... Yeah, we're in the same club together, so that's pretty awesome. I wonder if we could... No, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Um, She doesn't really know these three people, and they're not exactly the nicest, so we'll just go without them. Yeah, so we'll just go with all of them together when she is done with her homework. Bree, I had Bree doing her homework with Addison, and she just left me. Are you serious? This girl does not know how to stop talking. She loves talking, apparently. It's like, girl, try to do my homework here. You're distracting me. Seriously, we're gonna go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Okay, here we are. At the Humor and Hygiene Festival, everybody looks really bored. She could whisper about her crush to Zed. That's interesting. 
Very interesting. Why don't we flash some crazies? Why don't we go ahead and get to know Brie as well? We'll do an impression to her. Try to do some funny stories and stuff. And oh, 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 what is going on? My game decided to freeze on me. Oh, yes, the Huber and Hijinks Festival is here. Everybody's just chilling out around. Okay, so we could be part of the jokesters or we could be part of the pranksters. But I don't know. I think Addison is too nice to be part of the pranksters. So I'm going to have her join the jokesters. Why don't we join the jokesters together? I feel like the zombies would be part of the pranksters. Possibly. Honestly, I feel like Bucky and like the cheerleading squad would be part of the pranksters to be honest. But I can't really control all of them at the same time. So everybody's going to be part of the jokesters. And Zed is like, hmm. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I thought I changed this. I thought I changed his walk style. I definitely changed his walk style in the last episode, so I don't know why he is uh, walking like that, all creepy like. Okay, uh, apparently our, um, who was this? This was the uh, caterer, right? The fairy caterer. We have a mermaid over here. Oh my goodness, the principal is here. Um, why is the principal here? That's a little embarrassing. Oh my gosh, look at Bucky. Bucky is sitting next to Zed, and he's like, ugh. Uh, Addison, I see you've made some new friends. I'll be leaving. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Look at them just staring at each other. We could tell a joke. And maybe we should do some joker stuff. Poke fun at the pranksters. Why don't we go ahead and impossible sausage mine? What? What? He should not be walking like that. I don't know why he's walking like that, honestly. That is really weird because I most 100% definitely changed his walk style. We could do a flirtatious joke. Oh my goodness. So they're just having the time of their life. I wonder where Zoe is, to be honest. The poor thing. She just wanted to have a little puppy. And now, apparently, Bucky's like talking to Bonzo. And he's like, hi. I see. Uh, we're just, you know, <laughs> together. Forced to be together in the same class. That's... That's great. I'm still gonna try and have her spend some time with Brie. It does take a while to develop a friendship, like real life, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna see if I can do this as quickly as possible so that she can become friends with Brie and get to know Zed as well. She's over here just talking to Zed by herself. Or just look at him. He's like staring at her like, yeah, you're so awesome. Oh, I look and Brie is like, hey girl, hey. Uh oh, why is Bucky coming on over here? Uh, hi. Okay, he's like, I want to be part of this conversation. <laughs> okay, then. Oh my gosh. Well, apparently Bonzo just went up to Bucky. I don't know. Maybe he's kind of warming up to the idea of having zombies around, you know? Well, we'll see. Uh oh. <laughs> I have to change her walk style. The poor thing is walking like all creepy like. <gasps> Ooh, I'm hearing things. <gasps> the jokesters won. Oh my gosh, everybody's leaving. Why are you all leaving? Look, the fireworks. Look at the fireworks, everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm missing all the fireworks. <gasps> Ooh, yay, we got fireworks. Look at little Addison all the way back there. They're just having the time of their life. You guys, aren't you going to look at the fireworks? Look at him, he's setting them all off. They're just having the time of their life. Spent oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They're, they're fighting each other a little bit. Oh my goodness, seriously? No, 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 no. Don't be mean to each other. Oh my gosh, she did not like that. She's like, ugh, I don't like that at all. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done being silly. Why don't we be nice again? <laughs> Please and thank you. That would be great. Look at Zed. He's just like looking at her the whole time, just staring at her all happy. So cute. Oh my gosh, they're all like staring at the fireworks like, whoa, that is crazy. Okay, I think we're good. Now, let's see how we are doing. Oh man, it's going to take quite a while for this bar to go up. But I mean, I think we've made some progress. Poor Zed has been patiently waiting there. Eliza's kind of like hiding. Bucky's kind of like creepily staring at the little crack. He's like, I'm staring at you. I'm staring at you. Oh boy, they're getting hungry. Um, is there anything to eat around here? Oh yeah. Um, hi ma'am. I would like to order some food, please. I don't know what this is, but let's order it. Oh yeah. So apparently Bree is gonna order some food. Everybody's ordering some food. I have to change their walk styles once again. Who left their homework here? Oh my gosh, don't tell me Addis. Somebody left their homework here. And I don't know who it is. Somebody is not gonna have homework and that is a problem. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so apparently the festival has officially ended. Their food has disappeared. Just, you know, magically. I think everybody is leaving now. I have to change their walk styles, but I think I mean, I, I think, oh, hi Bonzo. He just like popped up out of nowhere. Um, let's see, it is 1 a.m. 
I think we should definitely go ahead and go to sleep. I wanted to go ahead and have the cheerleading tryouts today too, like having the cheerleading tryouts and the football tryouts. But let me know what you guys think I should do because as you can see, I can only control one person at a time. So I don't know if I should take control of like the coach and then do football tryouts or if I should take control of um, Bucky and do the cheerleading tryouts because then I can't control the other people that would be trying out, you know? So let me know what you guys think about that or if I should just add them in. I'm not entirely sure what I should do. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the zombie so that they can go back to zombie land. I guess we could bring Bucky with us as well. I'm gonna bring Bree, I think, so we can try and spend some more time with them, but I think she should definitely go to sleep. Alrighty, girls, it is time. Why don't you go ahead and use the facilities and then go to sleep. You have to go to sleep. And then you, how is she doing? How is she doing? Hmm? Okay, so she has to go ahead and eat something. She wants to search vampire information. That's a little weird a little weird what does she need to do for a job oh my goodness she needs to do a lot of things she needs to study a skill online study and achieve level two and two skills achieve level four in a skill and choose a cause to support i did i don't know why it didn't it didn't i had to redo it that's why okay choose no sim left behind oh yes yeah. so we got a cause to support please resume your mac and cheese and now little addison could uh okay oh look when she fell asleep look you can see her real hair oh my gosh so let me know what you guys think i should do should i follow zed to school tomorrow in the next episode or should i go ahead and take control of bucky and do like the cheerleading tryouts take control of the coach and do the football tryouts let me know all your thoughts and suggestions in the comments down below but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like and if you have any other suggestions please let me know in the comments down below but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys